come on, help us out here. We have deadlines to meet. You know the rules. No one's allowed inside without authorization. And I don't see our paperwork. I don't believe this. I'm not leaving until you let us in. They're all the same. Give a Nord a helmet and they get all high and mighty. It's no wonder the palace is still a wreck. Come on, help us out here! We have deadlines to meet! You know the rules. No one's allowed inside without authorization. And I don't see our paperwork. I don't believe this. I'm not leaving until you let us in. They're all the same. Give a Nord a helmet and they get all high and mighty. It's no wonder the palace is still a wreck. Okay. Welcome, welcome. Let's continue our adventure. Hello E10, hey hello Divest, hello FTO pair, and hello Pink Cat. Welcome to the stream. Okay. Our red guard is ready. Red wine is ready. Let's go. You smell of salt and sunshine. Yeah, I sat down on the um, bench trying to figure out how, why it has me out here. Missing prophecy. Is that what I was doing? Oh, I died. I'll be right back. Let me grab um, some new berries. Two seconds.
Okay, sorry about that. Got my batteries in here. Let's, let's figure out what we're supposed to do with nuts. Missing prophecy. An oracle of Azura named Rhea. Upcarius needs my help. So I'm only forcing me to destroy her in order to press all ten real. Where is? Oh, what the heck? Let's go there. Mm -hmm. Have I been here before? I've been to Wayrus before. Where's the damn boy shrine? Yeah, I've been there to Cogman Village. never actually went to Wayrus? I find that hard to believe. Uh, we traveled to the garden house. <laughs> Will let me in? Let's find out. You want to be here, we want to be in oh, that's the courtyard. Let's go outside. Let's go outside, baby. Oh, damn it! All right, well, I should have known that that would happen. All right, so let's just do this. The um. They're all the same. Come Give on, help us out here. They get we have deadlines to meet. Mighty. It's no you wonder the, the palace is still no one's allowed inside without authorization. And I Travel don't see here. a paperwork. I don't believe this. I'm not leaving until you let us in. Let's go. Captain Blackheart, thank the divines for brave souls like you. I snap these bones. Excuse me. 
God, this is about to get ugly real quick. Yep. As I said, ugly as shit. Damn it. Perhaps I should... Big Cortana, welcome back. You enjoyed the stream last night? Fire! The Abbey's on fire! Help! <sighs> Help! Bandits are burning the fields! Help! Oh, okay. Fine, 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 fine. What? The fields! The fields are burning! Is it ganja? Bandits! They look like they're with the Midnight Union, but there's no time to explain. Just please go up the path and talk to Sister Sophia. She'll tell you how you can help. The fields! The fi Bandits! Alright, fine, I'll. Can't let the church burn. Ah, how this could I knew she was a red guard. <laughs> we have no feud with the Midnight Union. Why would they suddenly attack the Abbey? It Why doesn't indeed? make any sense. Why indeed? Certainly. The bandits set everything on fire. The whole place is going up in smoke, and they're preventing us from putting the fires out. We weren't prepared to fight. If you'll help extinguish the flames, it would be a tremendous favor. I mean, I'm not a firefighter, but yeah, sure, why not? Yeah. Take this bucket. If you can get to the well and fill it. I don't know any other way. The larger fire may not be so easy. Just focus on the smaller fires first. I appreciate your assistance, but I would not want you to think of the spirit wardens as helpless. We are a capable lot, but to be attacked out of nowhere like this and by the Midnight Union, we were just caught off guard. Yeah, who are these guys? Smugglers, mostly. And gamblers. Even petty thieves. 
but they've never been ruffians before now. They almost killed Brother Roland. I thought I knew them. Why attack the Abbey? Why? Hmm. By yourself? Bad mistake, buddy. They actually look like they taste good. Aha! Oh, it's a guar, baby. Oh, oh. Ha! I knew it. I can see that many of the small fires have been extinguished. Thank you for volunteering to help us. No problem. Thanks for pitching in. I think we've saved enough crops to make it through the winter. But why did this happen? What's it all about? Why, indeed. I hesitate to ask you for further assistance, but if you're willing, your help would certainly be appreciated. Our leader, Abbot Gurak, left some time ago and hasn't returned. I fear he may be injured, or worse. Alright, see, this is going to be like a huge distraction from where I need to be. Oh, well, I guess I'll do it. Abbot Durak and a few others went to the Cave of Dreams Gotta on the North Ridge. Durak wanted to get something to help put out the fires. Brother Hakam went after them with a scroll of return to help get them back sooner. Now I worry about Hakam too. Sorry about that. 
about that. <laughs> Yeah, who do you want me to look for? Both. But look for Brother Hakam first. With the scroll of return, you can get Abbot Durak back here sooner, where I hope he'll be able to put out that big fire. Alright, that'll work. Brother Hakam! He sounds like a red guard as well. Let's see, where is he? He's up, he's up there. Well, let's get to it. No, yeah, you can stay there. Oh shit, what? Wrong dude. Not this little black duck. Clever thing to say, but it's just kind of fell out of my
Wait. Why? So. Oh, you the man. Look at you. Kill him. That's gonna be interesting. Let's see what's happening here. Friend or foe, declare yourself. No one will harm the abbot. Not while I draw breath. Sure. And I have more terrible news. Those damned outlaws cast a sleeping spell on Abbot Jurok. I can't wake him. He came down here for this scroll of summoning, said it would stop the biggest fire. I just hope it's worth what it cost. Apparently that failed, huh? <clears throat> As you're appraise his foresight, this will get us back to the Abbey. Jurok said this scroll of summoning should be read near the largest fire in the field. Please, take it and use it there. I'll meet you at the Abbey when you're done. Sure. Makes sense. What are you clapping at? Midnight Union. He's probably a rabble rouser in the Union. Jurok, you were right, my friend. You were right. One second. Can I adjust this? Where are we? He's still under a sleep spell. But I've learned something. The Midnight Union wanted us to panic. The attack, the fires, they were just a diversion. While we were distracted, they entered the Abbey and stole the Dream Shard. Let me guess, I gotta go look for that shit now, huh? You must awaken Abbot Jurok. He'll know how to get the Dream Shard back. Talk to our healer, Frisbee. He's inside, tending to the Abbot. We can't create more Dreamless potions without the Dream Shard. Without those potions, we, and the King, are vulnerable to the Supernal Dreamers. Dreamless potions? That sounds like a uh, <laughs> sounds like a hard night of drinking. With whiskey. Okay, so um, what's the dream shard? The dream shard is a priceless relic, a literal piece of Azura's realm of moon shadow. With it, we can distill water from the cave of dreams into dreamless potions. Without that shard, we can't make any more of them. We use them to protect ourselves from nightmare attacks by our enemies, the Supernal Dreamers. Since we don't dream, we're not vulnerable to dream magic. We also send them to the King and his counselors. Another reason we're tolerated here. Uh-huh. Exactly. 
So you see how important it is to recover the Dream Shard. The safety of the realm is at stake. <sighs> sure. I mean, I'm already here in for a bit. There are wounded to tend to, but I'm wounded myself. No. Don't get distracted. Focus, focus, focus. statue flat as a pancake You're the one who helped save our fields. Listen, I may have discovered the source of Duroc's affliction. Really? It won't be easy. The spell enthralling the abbot traps him in sleep and forces him to dream. It's a clever spell, since the spirit wardens can't enter his dream. In fact, we can't dream at all. We drink dreamless potions nightly. That's why we're immune to dream attacks from our enemies, the Supernal Dreamers. As of now, you're the only person in Pariah Abbey who can dream. The only one who can save Durok. Of course, because I'm the fucking hero. We have another potion we rarely use, a Dream Stride potion. It'll put you into a dreaming sleep. Then I can merge your mind with Abadurox. You must find him in his dream, figure out what holds him there, and awaken him. Sure. You must drink the dream. Okay. Here we go. Dream Star Potion. Of course, you wouldn't be in his bed. different mistresses. Our dream is your nightmare. Welcome to the new world, Abbot. Hmm. You're no dream spirit. You're real. Can you help me? Maybe. Our allies have betrayed us. The Midnight Union are now enemies. And I failed to see it coming. Really? Yeah, you need to wake up though, buddy. I can't, my child. These chains bind me to my nightmare. However, it's still my dream. So I know one of the Midnight Union men outside carries the key to my chains. Slay them until you find it. Don't hesitate or fear. They're only dream spirits. Oh no, I'm in a dream world, so gonna, they seem awfully real to me. We have to. <laughs> those chains are real. In this dream state, only you and I are real. 
And I'm only really certain of myself. I mean, yeah, that's, that, that's a lot of Remove these chains. We'll awaken. Speak with me again in the waking world. You know, that was almost too easy. <laughs> He's from Attack on Titan. Without you, I'd still be trapped in that dream. Now we must work together to stop this threat to Stormhaven. You saw my dream. Clearly, Vermina's cult, the Supernal Dreamers, is behind this betrayal by the Midnight Union. The outlaws of the Union took the Dream Shard, but I fear it's for Vermina's evil purposes. We must recover it. I would tend to agree to you. Thank you, though. I don't look forward to informing the king about this, but we must let him know as soon as possible. He will not be pleased. Wait, Stormhaven? Is it this is where I'm supposed to be at. King Emmerich must be informed that without the Dream Shard, we won't be able to supply him the dreamless potions that protect him from the supernal dreamers. His Majesty might reward the one who brings him word of this. Would you do it? Sure. Seek out the king in Wayrest and give him the news. That's he must know as anyways. soon as possible. Perfect. Uh, yeah, the dream shot, yeah. Then you need to find the Midnight Union. True, but not yet. The entire purpose of the attack on the Abbey was to acquire the dream shard. And its purpose is as a defense against the supernal dreamers. I do, which means those cultists are planning something, something big. King Emmerich must be warned. That is the highest priority. All right. Let's go then. That was interesting. They say the Hagfen is safe for travel these days, but I still hate nasty, smelly swamps.
One second here. All right. Back at it. here before. Listen to me for just a moment. It's very important. No. Ain't got time to listen to you, buddy. Actually, you know what? I gotta sell some stuff. Well, hello there. I'm sorry. It's a bit of a mess in here. We're doing some remodeling. I have a wide assortment of goods that might interest you. I might have to move some things around, but would you care to take a look? Hmm. Sure, why not? All right, so that. Not gonna use that. Not gonna drink that. Guard, how I use that. Ring. Medium. Staff. Nope, nope. Nope. Okay, let's do a little quick assessment of maybe trying to do things I can use. So, weapons. Uh,
Hey. Is it me or that fucking gigantic ass rabbit? I can build you ones. Where'd she go? Right, she's come here. Well, hello there. Let's go talk to the king. Come from Pariah Abbey, haven't you? Don't worry about giving me the bad news. I'm already expecting the worst. Word. Really? I heard rumors of chaos at the Abbey, but I had hoped they weren't true. The Midnight Union's never really been a problem. I mean, sure, they engage in a little smuggling and gambling, but this? It just doesn't make sense. Well, we need to go straight to the source. The Midnight Union does nothing without the approval of Count Hosni at Tura. I can't imagine him being behind this, but one never knows. Hosni has a walled estate on the shore to the west of here. Really? All right, I'll go check it out. Strangely enough, the man has apparently chosen this same time to have a betrothal celebration, and I happen to have an invitation I won't be using. Go in my stead and talk to Hosni. Find out if he knows anything about the Dream Shard. Okay. But first, I'm a little empty. Let me get a refill. I'll be right back. No, no, I, I think you, I think you look wonderful, very thin, very skeletal, which is what I like, skeletal. Your jewelry hangs cute.
Okay. Refilled. Hmm. All right. Let's go. Actually, this place kind of reminds me of, um, <clears throat> the kingdom reminds me of Ireland. Hosni is in residence. But no one gets into the party without an invitation. I have an invitation. Let me see. Ah, this is a platinum level invite. Oh, the yeah. Count says you get to I come like and go me. as you please. That's more leeway than he usually gives his guests these days. He's in the manor with his betrothed, Lady Edema. Tonight's festivities have already resulted in four deaths. Better hurry. <laughs> really? <laughs> Let's see. Oh, four deaths? Sounds like a Dothraki party to me. Hello, sir. Well, an unfamiliar face. I'm certain I didn't invite you. What's your business here? Yeah, we haven't met yet, but I'm a useful type of guy. What's her problem? Is that so? Hmm. We'll see. Tell you what. 
I've got a task that needs doing, but it might get ugly. Take care of it for me, and you're in. Uh, sure. Now, let's see. I gather you want a piece of the Midnight Union's action. As for me, I have a family situation that needs to be sorted out. That's where it might get ugly. <laughs> I'm guessing that's it's because of your wife over there. Kind of sound like Derek Jackson's wife right now. <laughs> I want you to get the family signet ring. My father refuses to hand it over in protest at my involvement with Edema. That ring should be my engagement gift. That and all it bestows. Get it for me, and I'll give you whatever you ask. Where's your daddy? I've put him for safekeeping in the guest house across the courtyard. I'd welcome him at our celebration, but he spurns us. Even a son can stand only so much. This sounds mad fishy, but I'll... Hmm... Don't know if I trust this guy, but let's see. See that you succeed. My beloved doesn't like failure and insists that I punish it severely. My betrothed is an unusual woman. She challenges me, drives me to excel. She guides and strengthens me. And I find I've acquired her stimulating taste for bloodshed. There's nothing I wouldn't do for her. Oh, so you're a simp. Okay. Team Jackson, what's happening? Okay, I'm really interested to see what you're into. Flat as a pancake as well. Alright. I know you. You're the meddler from Pariah Abbey. Meddler? I don't care. So long as you amuse us more than the other guests. Quite frankly, they're gutless and feeble. Okay. And so we shall, in our own special way. But first, I believe Count Hosni has some tasks for you. Oh. Yeah, sure, woman. Alright, let's see what the Patriarch has to do. All right, Big Daddy, what's going on? Did my son send you? Or are you just one of his feckless, doomed guests? I'm here for the ring. Really? Did he tell you why he wants it? The signet proves ownership of our estate. Once he has the ring, my wife and I can be disposed of. So what did he buy you with? Oh, he's one of those kids, all right. So the story is true then. Well, I hope you succeed, but not at the cost of our lives. Hosni only spares me because I've hidden the ring. If he kills me, he'll never find it. But I fear his next step will be to threaten my wife, Sarali. Hmm. Can't you protect your wife, man? Hosni has separated us. He's put Sorali in the summer house above the beach. Go there. Make sure she's safe. And tell her about the dream shard. She and Hosni were quite close. If anyone would know where he'd keep such a relic, it's Sorali. Okay, all right. Turn right outside my door and go to the west gate. Then just follow the path along the bluff to the summer house. All right, I'll do as you say. No 
just have to trust your instincts. I think you know the difference between an honest man and one who's gone mad. Mm. You want the dream shard. I want to know my wife is safe. Let's help each other. Okay. I could do that. Man, Hosni. Son, I write to see you lest the worst happen before you return to your senses. In which case, this may be the only way I can speak to you. The woman Edema is a venomous snake who has poisoned your thoughts and darkened your heart. Indeed, when I see the bloodlust in her eye, I doubt she is a true woman at all. You are strong, my son, and wise in the world's ways, for we have taught you all and held not back. For you to succumb to the wiles of such a creature or sorcery must be involved. Oh, sorcery must be involved. For no ordinary human could sway you so far from the path of clear thought and action. As you read this, let it be as a window opening into your mind, as a clean wind blowing through your heart. Awaken, Hazi, from your dreams of blood. Abjure this edema and seek your penitence <clears throat> in whatever task this Safina shall set for you. For she will tell you what is right and best to hear no matter how hard it may be to listen. Your mother who loves you, always, Soralia. Um, oh man, she must got that good good. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I've been there before. When I was a young buck, not anything recently. All right, all right, so finally through the two hmm. Beach house, huh? Let's keep going. You wish to suffer my wrath? Who? Who are you talking to? Okay. I know you ain't talking to me if you want the smoke. <laughs> we can get the smoke. Shit. That's what's going there? No. He's like, not my business. <laughs> Alright, I can respect that. How did I get so far off? Oh, I should have went down and around. Damn it. Okay, so follow the path down and to the right. Damn it.
You guys are getting too power. Shit is true. Let's go. So it's just here. I still move the inside. Hello, Lurex. Welcome, welcome. you in this place all by yourself? We have here for your drink. Oh, at least you got a little bit of um alcohol to keep you sane. What's up? Keep out, you supernal brutes. Remember what happened the last time you tried to sneak in? I may be old, but my stiletto is still sharp. You know what? I don't even want to know what you did <laughs> but it sounds awesome thank the eight i've been so worried since hosni separated us and now those supernal dreamers outside are threatening me though it could be that hosni just sent them to intimidate me uh, could be could be i do and I think that so-called Lady Adima is to blame. I'm certain she's why he's threatening Rihard and me. And I'd wager she's putting him up to even worse. He did that? Then he's taken High Rock's main defense against Vermina's cultists. Oh, Adima's behind it all right. If only we could prove it. Hmm. If Hosni stole the Dream Shard, he did it for Adima. And if so, he'll never give it to you. And you are here to recover the Dream Shard, aren't you? If you help me clear Hosni's name, I'll help you get it. Sure. I need evidence that Adima is controlling Hosni. Proof that her Daedric influence brought the Supernal Dreamer <coughs> to her. I have a plan. Sure, what is it? There must be some form of communication between her and the Supernals. If you can find, say, letters from the cult to Edema, I could use them to clear Hosni's name when this is all over. I suggest searching their camp on the beach. Ah, okay. Follow the path down to their camp by the dock. The Supernals arrived by boat. Search there first. What do you know? 
It's mostly guesswork, but informed guesswork. I had an aunt who briefly joined the Supernal Dreamers, so I heard the rhetoric. When Adima showed up, her talk about achieving one's dreams immediately made me suspicious. Okay. Alchemy. She gives him potions that put him into dreaming sleep, then visits his dreams, seduces him. The worst of it is, he's been betrothed to a good woman, Sister Sophia, a spirit warden. Adima made Hosni drop her. Poor girl. What, no vile chastity? That might actually be good. Follow the path down to their camp by the dock. The Supernals arrived by boat. Search there first. It's mostly guesswork, but informed guesswork. I had an aunt who briefly joined the Supernal Dreamers, so I heard the rhetoric. When Adima showed up, her talk about achieving one's dreams immediately made me suspicious. Okay, all right. You go back to being old and old. Okay, let's go down to the beach. Yeah, ha! Come on, fight. Yeah, that was entirely my fault. That was, um, yeah. not wise. Again, now be interesting. She appears in the same instance as me. you're still alive. Did you manage to find any evidence that will help exonerate Hosni? Mm-hmm. Mara's heart. This is exactly what we needed. With this in hand, my husband and I can escape this place and go to seek help. I have one final favor to ask. Oh, God. What do you need? 
I've been thinking about the Dream Shard and what I know about the Vermina cult. Hosni spends long periods asleep these days. I think Edema is using the relic to control Hosni through his dreams. Say more. Edema's been giving my son potions. If you can figure out which one puts him into dreaming sleep and take some yourself, I think you'll be able to enter his dreams as she does. Talk to Hosni's bard, Disdain. He's in on all <coughs> Hosni's secrets. All right. There must be some way to get through to Hosni. Yeah. He often plays in the courtyard garden. Disdain's a maggot, but he's close with Hosni. He's smart and he's no coward, so watch yourself. Okay. Literally went through the back door. <laughs> wow. Well, that was amusing. Oh, let's see what's in here. Oh. Yeah, Might be some good treasure. Hey, hello, feet. Thanks for joining the stream. Oh, damn. He's just straight up a dead dude up here. Can I just jump down? Let's do it. Yes, I do. If you want me to play something for you, you'll just have to wait your turn. Oh, I bitch. You know about this stuff. What? I don't know what you're talking about. Take a walk. Yeah, I'm not gonna take a walk, buddy. I've seen Hosni worship at a shrine to Vermina and then take a sleeping brew. So check the shrine. The rest is on you. I know you know more than that. Come on. I think you're trying to intimidate me. <clears throat> Here's a Bardley riddle. If what's right is wrong, then what's left is right. And that's all you'll get from me. That was how we threatening him. I'm filled with dread. me dreams if you go inside do not disturb him it would make me well
Where does this dude have it? Looks like he might be upstairs. Or. Hmm. Or the ocean, huh? Uh, I'll drink two. entered my son's dream. Some uncorrupted part of him has sent me to tell you what you need to know. Okay, wasn't expecting that. Yes, but the dream is Hosni's. Somewhere in this dream is the omen of blood, the demon from Quagmire that drives him to madness. You must find the omen and slay it. Okay. Hey, Ice Wizards, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. That which lives in dreams can be slain in dreams. If you kill Vermina's omen in Hosni's dream, it will be ejected from our world forever, and my son will be free. <sighs> Sounds easy enough to me. another one. You can't compare to her. It's over. Oh, Hosni. How can you be so cool? Cool? Now that I see you clear, I you a wonder I Be gone. Allow me to just fucking... I love the fact how these instances are shared. Who's that? Ah, <sighs> my betrothed lies dead before me, but all I can feel is relief. Hmm. I watched from a dream as a nightmarish reflection of myself committed mad crimes of blood. I killed so many, I threatened my own parents. Righting the wrongs I did here will take years, but thanks to you, I can at least start. Hey, let's do it. I have to repair the damage I've done. The first thing I'll do is order my guards to drive the supernal dreamers from our shore. Then I'll send for my parents. Hmm. You have more urgent work to do. The Dream Shard must be returned to Abadurak at Pariah Abbey. I sense that Vermina's not yet done with Stormhaven. The Spirit Wardens will need the Shard to oppose her.
All right, let's get out of here. Let's go. Here's something.
Oh, cat. Let's uh, talk to Yavin. All this shit. Ah, it's you. Mm hmm. Got the dream shard. As I had foreseen, it is gratifying to have one's foresights proven true. Well done. You should have the honor of returning the dream shard to its place on Azura's statue. Please see that it is properly returned. Then we can talk about what comes after. Sure, why not? Thank you, mortal. I had my doubts, but it seems the abbot's faith in you was well placed. I will watch you more closely from now on. Okay. Sparkly. You have triumphed. The threat of Hosnia Tora's Midnight Union is quelled. And we can return to watching and warding. Okay. <clears throat> Not yet. But you've brought us a great victory. Vermina's immediate threat has been foiled. And now, we'd like you to have this. The other Wardens and I infused our power into a mighty weapon to aid you in your fight. A staff? Mm. Thanks? Returning the Dream Shard to its rightful place is no small victory, but Vermina attacks on several fronts. I kept this quiet. But Azura warned me. There is another omen. Really? Yes. Menevia is secure. But Vermina's dark influence now seeps into the eastern region of Gavadan. Azura's shrine there has been desecrated. It's the Supernal Dreamers again. I'm sure of it. Of course. I'm glad you're in this with me. We must stop the Dreamers. And if there is another Roman, we must destroy it. I leave. <sighs> okay, fine. Ha! Ooh, fuck's in all that. Alright, so. Gotta go to High King. That's not where I'm at.
sure. What, what am I doing right now? Talk to her, can you wear us? Friend Stibbins wanted me to say hello. Tell you thanks. took him they took everyone All right, King, let's see what you guys say. Welcome back to Wayrest. It's good to see you again. Do you have any news? 
To be honest, this whole matter with the Dream Shard has robbed me of a few nights' sleep. I'll be a royal grump if we can't get this matter resolved soon. Ha <laughs> ha. You have quite the humor. Well, there we go then. That wasn't quite so bad as Abbot Durak made it sound. I'm sure he had his reasons though. What about the Daedra, the omen that was behind all this? I trust it's dead or gone? Yep. In Gavadon? Why couldn't it be in Morrowind or somewhere else across the continent? Gods! We already have enough trouble in Garvedon. General Gardron says the Iron Hand ogres are far from being fully defeated. Ogres? Hmm. Huh. Well, that's good, at least. You two are the experts, though I suppose that's a dubious honor. If there is an omen in Garvedon, I'm guessing it's similarly disguised. Gardron didn't report anything suspicious, but maybe it's worth asking Captain Ernell. Yes. Ernell was fighting with Gardron, but he's just been reassigned to shore up our defenses here in Wayrest. It may be a wild guar chase, but it's worth asking Ernell if he saw any signs of Daedric influence in Garvedon. All right. Let's go see what he wants. Sir, here you got some news for me. I recognize you from the stories. You're the one who helped save Count Atura, aren't you? He's an old friend. I'm glad to make your acquaintance. Don't mind the guillotine, it's just for show. Really? Well, you know as well as anyone else, these supernal dreamers have been trying to recruit people all over Stormhaven. We're hoping this will serve as a deterrent. If we catch a cultist, we'll execute him. Nothing more than that. Okay. Sure enough, I was acting liaison to General Godron out at Shinji Scarp, but he's worried that the ogres might break through and attack Wayrest. Godron suggested to the king that I be assigned to organize defenses here, so here I am. Oh, not that I know of. General Godron's been losing sleep, worried about the ogres, but other than that, everyone's been sleeping just fine. Or at least as well as you can expect for a war camp. General Godron is acting a little strange, though. Really? It's not my place to question the general. But he does seem to be blowing the ogre threat out of proportion. That's just my two coppers, though. Good luck if you're headed out to Gavadon. Hmm. Okay. All right, one second. Got to take a quick leak.
Okay, I'm back. Casino, big welcome, welcome, welcome to the stream. All right, let's continue. For helping out a fellow adventurer? Okay, focus. Can't be doing everything. Not you. Not today, woman. You may come back, though. Question my orders. Just tell the commander we need more soldiers and more supplies. Yes, General. If you say we need them, then we need them. Uh. So, you're the hero Grandmaster Durak keeps telling us about. You're here at the perfect moment. You like to fight ogres? Maybe. It's good you're here. The general says the battle does not go as well as he hoped. I told him you could help. I've had little time to search for the omen. Did you learn anything in Wayrest? Anything about nightmares in Gavadon? Yeah. The general? If the omen were to get a hold of him, that would be very bad. Before we act, we must be sure, though. For now, we keep an eye on Gautron. Perhaps helping him defeat the ogres will flush the omen out. Sure. We need everyone we can get. I mean, I am here. You're just in time. I need every able-bodied man and woman. You're carrying a weapon, so I assume you're able. You like to fight ogres? As a matter of fact, yeah. I do. I do like to fight ogres. You're just in It does. And by Moloch, we need you. The Iron Hand Ogres have stopped us cold out there, and I can't afford to lose any more soldiers. Will you join my clan, Murtaugh clan, in this battle? I mean, sure, just tell me what you need me to do. We've been trying to break through the Ogre lines for days. Sergeant Olfen is leading the charge. If you can help him take the tower up on the rocks, we can establish a forward command post. Then we're in striking distance to finish this thing. 
Let's do it. I brought my army here as a favor to King Emmerich, but Murtog clan has other battles to fight. We need to finish the Iron Hand ogres and finish them fast. May your kills be quick and many, soldier. Uh, let's see, you're the boss? Our chieftain is in Rothgar, but I am proud to say I lead Murtog clan in battle. Centuries ago, Murtog clan was one of the strongest clans in Orsinium. We were nearly destroyed along with the city, but we are resilient. Hmm. Some of us do, some don't. It will be decades before Orsinium regains its former glory. Many see the city as a reminder of past defeats. Nonetheless, Murtog clan works to rebuild it and to defend it from the Iron Hand ogres. Oh, you sweet summer child. Orsinium has been shit and it will continue to be shit. Just facts, man. The Iron Hands come from our side of the mountains, from Rothgar. They've been <clears throat> their efforts to rebuild Orsinium for years. Murtog clan has fought them more times than I can count. That's why King Emmerich asked us to come to Gavadon's aid. Both. I fought at Emric's side in Rancer's War. We helped drive the Reachmen from Stormhaven, and in exchange, Emric returned Orsinium to Orc hands. That conflict was of mutual benefit. This one isn't. Hmm. You sound a little, uh, salty. Because it was Bretons who destroyed Orsinium, and now Murtog clan must come to their rescue? Maybe. Emric's my friend, and he's High King of the Daggerfall Covenant. We won't forget Orsinium. Wait until next time. We... That's what we say. Okay. Alright, buddy. Sergeant... What's his face? Not here? Alright. Moloch, grant me strength, give me glory. Ha, word. Steel and stone, welcome to the Scarp. We could use your help on the battlefield. Would you join us in the fight for glory? Uh, sure. Good, very good. Maybe along the way you would help me make my family proud? I want to come back from battle with something to remember it by. Something I can hang on the wall and tell stories about. I want a war trophy. All right, hurry up. Necklace, I think I hear a, a gate necklace made up. of ogre teeth with big, wide bands packed with more teeth than you can count. I've got two sacks of them here at the camp, but I need more. The more, the better. Help me, and I'll help you. Sure, I'll get you your teeth. Did I miss it? Stay on watch. Those ogres may not be done yet. Seriously? Oh, look at this. This is, uh... Interesting. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, God damn. Alright, well... Oh, 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 oh! Sneak around. Yeah, let's sneak around to the back. Far away. Yeah, let's get down the far. Fuck is making that noise?
anything in here? Probably not, but let's take a look anyways. Yeah, you motherfuckers. Ah! Let's get We gotta go deeper in territory. Ooh, a sky thing. Don't see that?
get him, let's get him. Because of Scrag. I have no idea who you are. But I'm just beating your ass because, well. Reappear, reappear, you motherfucker. I'm not sure if this is what I was supposed to do, but it was still cool. Oh man, I need, just need like fucking 15 more keys. Oh, that, that's bullshit. That zombie bullshit.
Stand tall, brothers. You've done well today. All right. What's good? What's good? What's good? The smell of ogre-blooded victory, friend. You have the teeth? Yes, I do. Almost as impressive as yours. Aha! Good work! Generations of orcs will admire what you've helped create. I've heard more good news as well. General Godrin said there's another battle coming. Bring it on, I say. Hmm. That's all I had to do. You cut the forest, and the forest cuts back. Bet those witches had something to do with all these nature problems. Mm. Alright, let's see what's in here. Really? That's it? Hmm. Hmm. Wasn't who I was talking to? Oh, I talked to the wrong person. My bad, I just flat out ignored you. Well, that didn't work. Time to come up with a new plan. Again. <laughs> What'd you do? What went wrong? Looks I'll like tell you cousin. what went wrong. I was trained to fight ogres, not rocks! We can't even get to the ogres! It's those damn boulders they're throwing! Every time we try to charge across, another one of my soldiers gets smushed! Smushed? Did he? You can't fly, can you? Sure would make it easier. Failing that, if you're willing to make a run for it, I'll cheer you on. From back here. One tip. Don't run in a straight line. Zigzag. Hide behind the rocks and you just might make it. Hmm. If you can make the ridge, I bet 50 gold those ogres fall back. Take my warhorn. If you get across, climb the tower and blow the horn. That will signal us to move up and establish a forward command post. Guts and glory, friend. All right. I'll try it. But it's getting late. So this will be for our next session. Thank you. Thank you for watching and uh, have a good night. If you haven't subscribed and follow, please do. Because uh, still more red guard and wine. Have a good night. Yeah. This is. Definitely gonna be a good next one.